In this video, we're going to learn to use deplier functions with ggplot, with a focus on using the deplier filter function. To get started, let's load our libraries. As with any of the tidyverse packages, we could load them individually or just load the tidyverse package. Next, we'll load the built-in dataset storms. Let's take a glimpse of the storms data to see what kind of variables we have. This is a pretty large dataset with almost 12,000 entries, and I would like to plot some subsets of that data. I could filter the data and create new datasets prior to plotting. Alternatively, I can apply deplier filters within our ggplot function. Let's try to make a plot looking at wind speeds for hurricanes. To do this, let's start with the base of our ggplot function and setting the data. If we were using all of the data from the storms dataset, we would simply set it to storms. However, here I would like to filter for only storms that reached hurricane status. To do this, we're going to start by applying the deplier filter function. Next, we will fill in our filter function with the information needed to subset the data we want. We know the filter function requires the data set and an argument telling R how to filter the data. Here, we will filter storms that have hurricane status. Next, we'll make a plot looking at the relationship between wind and pressure for each storm. We'll also color the data points by category. For another example, let's plot only hurricane data from 2005. We're going to make the same plot, but this time we'll filter for hurricane status as well as year 2005. Finally, Let's apply a filter on a local level in our ggplot. Let's plot data from two different years on our plot. We are again going to filter for the 2005 hurricane data, but this time within our geom jitter layer, and set our color aesthetic to red. Next, we will make another geom jitter layer, but this one will filter for 2012 hurricane data, and our points will be blue. With this overlaid plot, we can see the wind speeds were much higher in the 2005 hurricane season. This concludes our video on using deplier functions within ggplot. Happy plotting!